Pre-reading questions. 1. Have you read a biography? Who was it about? 2. Think of three people you would like to know more about. 3. Why do you want to know more about them? Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom. Victoria's Early Life Princess Alexandrina Victoria was born into the British royal family on 24 May 1819. Her mother was extremely protective and the princess grew up under strict rules. She was never allowed to be alone. Her mother, her tutor or her governess was always with her. She shared a bedroom with her mother. In her playtime, her only friends were her dolls and her little dog, Dash. When she was older, she described her childhood as rather sad and lonely. At the age of 17 she was introduced to a handsome young German, Prince Albert. She liked him at once but she was not yet ready to marry. A new queen. The princess was 18 on the 24th of May, 1837. Less than a month later, her uncle, the king, died and she became queen on the 20th of June, 1837. Her first Two requests were to have an hour by herself and to have her bed removed from her mother's room to a bedroom of her own. She did not want to be called Queen Alexandrina. Instead she asked for her second name, Victoria, to be used. Marriage Victoria was crowned on 28 June, 1838 and she made Buckingham Palace her home. Because she was not married, her mother also lived in the palace but Victoria often refused to see her. She met Prince Albert several times over the next two years. Finally, she asked him to marry her and their wedding took place on 10 February, 1840. Victoria adored her new husband from the start and she relied on him for advice and support in her role as queen. She had to meet the prime minister, listen to his ideas for government and make decisions about matters of state. Family life Their first child was born in November, 1840 and over the next 17 years they had eight more children. Family life became important to Victoria. With Prince Albert's guidance she became a better daughter to her mother. When her mother died in March, 1861, Victoria was at her bedside. In December of the same year, Prince Albert died after a short illness and Victoria was devastated. She wore black for the rest of her life. She continued her government duties but she did not live in London. She stayed in her castles in the south of England and in Scotland. Because of this, she was not so popular as before. She was advised to be seen in public more often and gradually she appeared at more public events. The British Empire During Victoria's reign the British Empire expanded. Much of India came under British rule and from the 1st of May, 1876, Victoria was also named Empress of India. In her opinion, the expansion of the British Empire helped other countries and protected people from cruel rulers. Other countries did not have the same point of view and saw Britain as a threat. 
Britain was often at war for the empire, which was more powerful than it had ever been before. The Victorian Period Victoria's reign was known as the Victorian Period. Family life was important to everyone. Bad behavior he was not allowed and children had to be obedient. It was a time of industrial progress. Factories, railways and bridges were built. Cities expanded greatly. For those who had good jobs and comfortable homes, life was pleasant, but for the poorer people who lived in the worst houses, life was hard. Work in the factories was exhausting and often dangerous. Many people spoke out against the harsh conditions and the well-known writer, Charles Dickens, wrote about them. Final Years Victoria's reign of 63 years, 7 months and 2 days was longer than the reign of any king or queen before her. She had become immensely popular. Her children had married into European families and she had more than 30 grandchildren. She was known as the Grandmother of Europe. When she became ill and died on the 22nd of January, 1901, aged 81, the whole population was deeply saddened. She was buried next to her husband, Prince Albert. Think about these questions. Discuss your answers together. 1. Why do you think Victoria described her childhood as rather sad and lonely? 2. Why do you think Victoria sometimes refused to see her mother after she was queen? 3. Do you think Victoria made a wise choice in marrying Prince Albert? Why? 4. From what you have read about Victoria, what sort of person do you think she was? Think of at least three adjectives to describe her character. 5. Why do you think she had become so popular by the end of her reign? Think of three reasons. Write T, true, or F, false. Correct the false statements. 1. The princess was always with her mother or her tutor or her governess. 2. When she was introduced to Prince Albert, she wanted to marry him. 3. One of her first requests was to have an hour in bed by herself. 4. After Victoria was crowned, she lived in Buckingham Palace. 5. After 1861, Queen Victoria wore black dresses every day. 6. From the 1st of May, 1876, Victoria was named Empress of Britain. 7. In the Victorian period, children did not have to do what they were told. Eight factories were always a good place to work. Nine Queen Victoria was known as the Grand Old Lady of Europe. Ten she died and was buried next to her husband in 1901. Listen and read. Holly, Professor, when did you first become interested in astronomy? Professor, well. One of my earliest memories is seeing a shower of shooting stars. I was about five or six at the time. I thought it was the most magical thing I had ever seen. Holly, how beautiful. Professor, yes, it was. I couldn't stop talking about it so my father bought me a telescope. It was the best present I've ever received. Holly, were you good at science at school? Professor, yes, I was. I was terrible at history and not much better at geography. I was even worse at languages. And as for art, that was the worst of the lot. No, the only subject I was. Interested in was science, and astronomy in particular. Holly, how do you become an astronomer? 
Professor, learn to love the night sky. That's the first step. Get to know the stars, the constellations and the planets. And buy a good telescope. Ross, can we see your telescope, Professor? Professor, of course. It's a bit bigger than the one that I had when I was five. Answer these questions. 1. What is Professor Bolt's earliest memory? 2. How does he describe it? 3. What was the best present he has ever received? 4. At school was Professor Bolt good or bad at science? 5. Was he better or worse at languages? 6. What was his worst subject? A shower. A door. Adored. Agreement. Allow. Announcement. Appeared. Appointment. Argument. Arrangement. Astronomer. Astronomy. Bedside. Behavior. Industrial. Instead. Interested in. Introduced. Later. Lonely. Magical. Marriage. Married. Matter. Memories. Named. Obedient. Opinion. Bridges. Buried. Castles. Childhood. Children. Conditions. Constellations. Crowned. Cruel. Dangerous. Daughter. Decisions. Deeply. Described. Devastated. Palace. Period. Planets. Playtime. Point of view. Popular. Population. Prime Minister. Progress. Protected. Protective. Public. Queen. Railways. Rather. Disappointment. Dolls. Duties. Extremely. Empire. Empress. Entertainment. European. Events. Excitement. Exhaust. Expand. Expansion. Governess. Shooting. Ready. Refuse. Rain. Geography. Rely on. Remove. Request. Roll. Royal. Ruler. Sadden. Several. Scotland. Worse at. Share. Government. Gradually. Grandchildren. Grew up. Guidance. In public. Handsome. Harsh. Husband. Illness. Immensely. State. Strict. Support. Telescope. Terrible. The rest. Threat. Took place. Tutor. Wedding. Well known.